Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about August favorites. Cannot believe it's September. I know I say that every single month, but holy moly, where is this year going? Okay, so I have quite a bit of beauty products, just a couple of fashion items, and an exciting announcement to share with you guys. I'm going to be uh, hosting my very first meetup here in Austin. If you are in the Austin or surrounding areas, I would love for you to come out and say hello. It is going to be September 20th. It's a Thursday evening at the Nordstrom at Barton Creek Mall here in Austin. Um, and I'm going to be hosting it along with my friend Hey Nazreen and my friend Lauren from Looking Good Mama. They're both on Instagram um, and they also have blogs. They're not on YouTube yet, but maybe we can change that. Uh, so the three of us are going to be hosting a fall and fashion beauty event at the Nordstrom. Uh, so it'll be downstairs right outside the store by the e-bar. So I'm going to be actually um, doing a makeup masterclass is what I call it. I'm going to be showing you how to create fall makeup for the day and transition it into evening and then Nazreen and Lauren are going to be showing uh, fall fashion so they'll be showing you how to dress uh, for fall and transition into the fall season from day to night so I am so excited Nordstrom has some fun little extras thrown in there um, I don't know if I can say too much because we're still kind of planning it out but let me just say this it'll be a super fun event bring a friend uh, we are asking RSVPs so I'm gonna have all the information down below uh, because I don't want to spend too much time on this because I know a lot of you are watching this and aren't going to be able to attend since you're not local so if you're in Austin or surrounding areas check out the description box everything will be down for you below I am so excited about this event and I hope I get to meet you okay so let's talk about products so I have everything in this little beautiful new makeup bag this is one of my favorites so we're just gonna talk right about this okay this makeup bag is one of my favorites this makeup bag is by Stephanie Johnson and I discovered it in my search for a new cosmetic bag for my purse Clearly this uh, was a little bit larger than I thought it was gonna be. I was hoping it was about half this size, but when I got it, I ordered this off Nordstrom's website. Couldn't return it because I just love it. I think it's so cute. It has this pink lining inside of it. Uh, so, so cute. So I wanted to share this brand with you. I think that this is a great travel size. Um, I actually took this with me when I went to Miami. I think it's just a really great traveling cosmetic bag. It's really just really cute. So I really like this brand a lot. Um, you can order some of her products on Nordstrom. She also, she also has a website of her own where she has a little bit more styles, but I really like this style. So the same time I ordered this bag, I also ordered this one. And I was thinking that one of the two would be the perfect size and they're both the totally wrong size, but I love them both. I decided to keep them. This is like a mini makeup bag, but it also comes with this little insert for like vitamins. So in here I have my vitamins. I take um, an Omega supplement and then I take Adrenal, which is like a supplement that helps with your adrenal gland support. Uh, but you could also take this out and this could be just like a tiny little makeup purse. You could fit a lipstick in here maybe. You could fit earrings if you're traveling and you want to throw your jewelry in here it also has a little zipper right here I just think it's super cute and I just wanted to share this brand with you because it was a new brand designer that I discovered okay so you already got a sneak peek but the Emily edit needs palette made it to my favorites this month it is what I have on my face today I'm wearing the blush I'm wearing all the eyeshadows pretty much um, I don't have these two eyeshadows on but I have pretty much everything else here I have this in my crease this and my cheeks uh, I really, really love this palette. I got both the Wants and the Needs palette. The Needs made it to my favorites because it's kind of a palette that I've been reaching to daily. I just got it about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So um, of the two palettes, this is the one that I keep grabbing for all the time. I traveled with this. I took this with me to Miami, and um, this was kind of my travel day makeup. But really love this. So I got an extra set of palettes through PR. Thank you, Makeup Revolution, and thank you, Emily. Uh, since I already purchased them, I wanted to do a giveaway. So I'm going to have the information for the giveaway down below. I'm going to be giving away the Wants and the Needs palette to a winner. So check out the description box if you are interested in entering that. But really, really love this palette. So happy for Emily. This is a great everyday basic face palette. Okay, kind of random, but this bar soap, you guys, I get it from Whole Foods and I love it. It's by the brand Good Soap. When I check out at Whole Foods, they have this little soap bar area and they have like different uh, fragrances in these little baskets. And I really like the coconut one. It's a very soft, light scent. I think it's coconut mint. It smells a little pepperminty, but very light, soft scent. It's very moisturizing. I shower at least twice a day, especially in the summertime. I shower in the morning and then I shower at night and my skin dries out, but this really helps. Um, 
I mean, I still have to put lotion on. Don't get me wrong. Like I don't just use this and no lotion. I still put body lotion on, but, but I've noticed my skin isn't drying out as much opposed to like using my lever or dial or whatever bar soap that I use that my husband uses. The scent is very light, so it's not really strong, uh, which I kind of like because I feel like sometimes when I use bar soaps that have a really like heavy scent to them, I guess the idea is that that heavy, strong scent will kind of mask any odor that you have in your body. But I feel like sometimes those scents just like mix with your sweat and it just makes it smell worse. So I like the fact that this is really, really mild. Um, I don't know if I can find a link for this because I get it at the grocery store, but I will link, if I, I'll find something so you can shop it. If you don't have Whole Foods, I'm sure you can order this online. I would imagine so. So the next product is by Miraness. It's their Collagen Cushion Compact Airbrush Liquid Powder Foundation. It's the foundation I have on right now. It comes in a little compact like this. So you just press it to get the foundation. I used a beauty blender to apply it today. I want to kind of show you the coverage that this gives. I mean, you can see that it gives pretty good coverage. It's not a sheer foundation, but it has a pretty natural finish. Like it doesn't look uh, heavy or matte. I would say the finish on this is kind of like a satin finish, a natural satin finish. It's not it's not matte, but it's not like glowy or luminous at all. Um, I did set it with a powder today, which is also on my favorites list. It is the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. I have been loving this powder. I've been using this for a while, and I know I shared it on Instagram, but I don't know that I've shared it in a video yet. Maybe I have, but I have these two on today, and I think it's just like the perfect combination. So the Miraness Foundation was sent to me back when I did that hair mask video for them. They asked if I wanted to try any of the makeup, and I'm like, sure, just send me you know, some of your best sellers, some things that you think I would like. I was impressed with a lot of products that I tried from them, but I really, really love this foundation. I think that this is a foundation that foundation is such a personal thing like I know sometimes I sit up here and I talk about foundations that I love and it's this and that but I want everyone to remember that it's a very personal thing depending on your skin type your skin texture what your preferences are as far as full coverage natural coverage finish all of that so I do want to say that but I do feel like this foundation is a pretty like impressive foundation. You know, you know how there are certain foundations that are kind of like cult favorites, like the majority of the masses really like them or there's just a, a lot of like great positive reviews on them. I feel like this foundation is one of them and I don't think that this brand really is a really well-known brand. So I wanted to share this with you guys. If you like pretty medium solid coverage and you like a pretty satin natural finish, um, I definitely think this is worth giving a try. I think I will do a video on this soon. If you guys wanna see a video on this, like a review and showing you how it wears through Throughout the day let me know in the comment section below because I'm happy to do that so the powder by Milani I really like it gives decent coverage you guys um, but it doesn't look heavy or too powdery on the skin I have been using this as a setting powder so at, on foundation and it just gives a nice like soft matte finish adds a little bit of extra coverage I've also been using this kind of on days that I don't wear foundation when I just moisturize the skin and I want to even things out a little bit but I don't want to take the time to apply foundation or have anything heavier on the skin and it is a pretty versatile powder I have the shade 06 beige but I was really 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 impressed with this powder have you guys tried this what are your thoughts let me know down below I haven't paired it with the conceal and perfect foundation which is a foundation that I really like but I haven't worn that one in a long time that foundation is kind of heavier so in the summer hot sweaty months I kind of steer clear of it but it is a really beautiful full coverage um, foundation so maybe when it gets colder I will try the two together Okay, you guys, so I did a video on Beauty Counter a couple of weeks ago, and I got my order in since then, and this was one of the products that I ordered. This is a highlighter in the shade Topaz, and I love this. It is so beautiful. I have it on the cheeks today. You can kind of see it just gives a nice, subtle kind of highlight. Um, I think it's so pretty. It does have a warm, like, peachy tone to it, so if you're really fair skin, it might be a little too peachy for you for the face, but I think it's pretty. It could be pretty as an eyeshadow, too. It's really buttery, really soft, very pigmented. Um, it's a little bit more, like, shimmery than I typically like from highlighters, but the way that it sits on the skin is really soft, so, so it's a highlighter that's more on the shimmery side. It's not like the Hourglass Strobe Powders, which I love, because I love those because they are more sheer and not really in intense shimmery and I've always said that about those this is definitely more shimmery so if you don't like highlight powders like that you might not like this one but if you kind of like somewhere in between this is really pretty like I said it's also beautiful as an eyeshadow I just think the color is so nice 
it's just really nice. Someone asked me the other day if it could be a good bronzer for really fair skin, and I don't think so because it is pretty shimmery, so if you were to kind of dust this like in more areas over the face, you might feel like it's too shimmery and it might be too shiny as the day progresses. So I would probably suggest against wearing it as a bronzer, but for someone that's medium to tan skin tone, beautiful as a highlight or beautiful as an eyeshadow for all skin tones. Okay, I have two products that I've talked about before. Um, I did a video on them, and then I think I talked about them in another favorites video, but you guys, these are pretty game-changing skincare products. And as I was gathering my products to film this video, I kind of hesitated sharing these because I know they have some inventory issues, like a lot of people are trying to get their hands on them. They keep selling out and restocking and selling out, but I just have to share it with you guys because they are that freaking good. It's the Maylove Night Renewer and the Vitamin C Serum. Um, I did work with Maylove on a video, I don't know how long ago that was maybe a month or two months ago, maybe two months ago. Um, so this video is not sponsored, um, but this, you guys, I have been using these products daily since then, and my skin is like very noticeably brighter since using these two products. I use this about three, maybe four times a week, and then I use this every single day. So I have a video of my skin this morning that I took just from my cell phone in a natural light window, and I wanted to show you what my skin looks like. This is without anything applied, there's no filters, and I feel like my skin looks really bright and really clear. Yes, I do still have a few little bit of sun damage spots, but I can tell that they've significantly decreased over the last six weeks. This, these are really, really impressive skincare products, you guys, and they're both around $28, 20, I think they're both around $28, so I think they are fantastic, fantastic skincare product for the price. So keep your eye on that site. Um, my 10% coupon code is no longer valid, so um, I don't think that they're doing that anymore. However, it's a $28 product, so I think that you know it's still a very fair price. But I wanted to share these in this video because they really are impressive. They're products that I will always keep in my rotation um, forever. I mean, I know I'm a beauty YouTuber and I tend to try different skincare products and I work with different skincare brands, but I can say that these two are going to always be on my vanity. They are amazing. So the next product I want to share is my Dermaflash. This is like a dermaplaning facial tool, so this removes um, peach fuzz. So I've used this twice since I purchased it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so that's been about... Uh, how long ago is that? It's almost been two months. So I've used it three times in the last two months. I used this before my AMI. This is like getting an instant facial to me. So it just makes your skin look brighter and more glowy. It also helps your skincare products absorb into the skin a little bit better. Um, it also makes your makeup go on so much smoother and prettier. I just wanted to kind of give you that update because I did do a video on this, which I'll have linked down below if you're curious to get more information or see how you use this device. It's so simple. It takes literally a couple of minutes and you're done. Um, so I'll have that video linked down below, but I am loving this product. I just wanted to give an update after I've actually used it a couple more times since filming that video. Colleen Rothschild, Complete eye cream. I am loving. I've talked about this a lot. You guys have probably seen this in videos or seen it on Instagram, but you can see that I am almost out of this. I need to order some more. Um, I love this eye cream. It's like the perfect consistency. It's rich and emollient enough for evening because that's what I really like. I really like to treat my skin with rich products at night, but it also um, is easy to wear under makeup. You do need to allow a couple of minutes, so I will like wake up, I will splash my face with water. If I feel like my skin is really oily, then I'll wash my face again in the morning. But if I don't, I'll just splash it with cold water, pat it dry, I'll apply my eye cream, and then I'll brush my teeth, go have my coffee, and then I'll get my makeup on. You really don't need to leave that much time before applying concealer, but um, I do feel like this wears well under makeup. It's just kind of a good um, day and night eye cream. I really, really love this eye cream. Um, before this, I was kind of just using the Rodan and Fields multifunction eye cream for years. That was like my staple eye cream that I always had. And the two kind of remind me of each other as far as consistency goes, but um, people always ask, like, are you still using Rodan and Fields? And um, I'm not, and it's not for any reason that I don't like the product. I think they have a great product, but um, I was using them exclusively for so long that I wasn't testing and trying other brands. And I'm a beauty channel, you guys. I have to like keep up to date with what's out there and be able to speak on other brands. So I kind of phased out Rodan and Fields over the last year or so. Um, and uh, I have found some really great Colleen Rothschild products that I really like. This video is not sponsored. I know Colleen Rothschild works with a lot of YouTubers um, and beauty bloggers, but I've never worked with them. Um, I'm excited to try more products, but everything I've tried from them, I have enjoyed. There are some products that I love more than others, but I haven't found one product that I did not like. So that says a lot about the brand. 
I do have a 20% off coupon code for Colleen Rothschild. So if you're curious about the brand um, and you want to check out any of their products, I'll have that link down below for you. This I love. I also love their detox mask. I love their cleansing balm. I love their face oil. Um, so I will, I'll leave the products that I have um, that I use and rotate through down below, but this is one that I use daily. I love it. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores uh, Translucent Powder. You guys, I love this powder. I've had this for several months, um, and it just kind of gets tossed between my makeup room and my vanity, but it's made its way to my vanity the last few weeks, and I love it. I've been using it under the eye. I've been using it on the face. Usually I have a separate powder that I use under my eye than I use on my face because a lot of face powders I feel like are too heavy for under the eye, but this one I've been using under the eye. I'm very careful with the amount I apply. I apply a very, very sheer, soft amount. I've used my brush, pick it up, and then I tap off my brush so there's no excess. Uh, but this is, powder is beautiful and it really does minimize the appearance of pores. Like it really does make things look smoother. So um, if you use a foundation that you love but you feel like it doesn't like blur pores or imperfections or texture in the skin, if you set your foundation with this, this will do this. This will give a very smooth blurring effect. I'm not sure if it comes in other shades, but translucent will work for everyone. It's really, really nice. Okay, two more products and then I just have a couple fashion products and then I'm done. Uh, so this lip gloss by Milani, it's the Amore Shine liquid lip color. I have the shade Enchanting. So I got this on the recommendation of Emily uh, a few months ago. When I discovered the Keep It Full lip glosses that I love, she was like, oh yeah, these are really great too. So I bought it, but it kind of just sat there on my vanity. It's a really highly pigmented lip gloss. I mean, you can see how much pigment it has. I have no lipstick on. This is just this lip gloss. Isn't that crazy? I want to show you how much lip how much pigment it has. Really high pigment. Um, this is kind of like a liquid lipstick gloss. It, it is as pigmented as a lipstick, but it is very high glossy. Uh, really like it, really nice. I think Milani has really exceptional lip products. Okay, and the last product I wanna talk about is by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Retoucher, and I have the shade three medium. Uh, so I have to say a few things about this. This is not an inexpensive product, you guys. Um, so it's a Retoucher concealer. Um, this is not a full coverage concealer. So if you are someone that needs full coverage or that prefers a full coverage concealer, this is not your guy. I kind of debated including this in my favorites video just because the price point is really high and it's not like a wow product for everybody. There are going to be a lot of people that try this that are gonna be disappointed because it's not full coverage. It doesn't give a ton of coverage. I have been using this on the days that um, I don't really want to have a full makeup look. Maybe I am just running errands. Maybe I'm gonna to go to the gym and and I just want to like minimize my dark circles um, and have more of an awake look, but I don't want it to be obvious that I have makeup on. So that's kind of a lot of days for me though, you guys. I, I don't look like this on the daily. I would say more days than not, I have very minimal light makeup on. And so for that reason, I love this and I've been grabbing it a lot. But like I said, if you're someone that wants a flawless full coverage look, you probably will be disappointed if you fork down the money for this and then you get this. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer. If you are someone that likes a very natural, no no makeup makeup look you don't need full coverage you don't want it to look like you have full coverage on then I think you would really like this okay I've been waiting to film this video so I could share more about my new bag I got this about a month ago this is by the brand Gigi New York I have been eyeing this bag you guys for it at least a year. Um, it is a brand that I know a lot of bloggers talk about and that's how I discovered it. I don't know if it was Marnie or if it was Courtney Kerr, but I've seen it shared on Instagram and, and I know Marnie has the white one, but I've always been curious about the quality of it because it is about $400. I think this one was $450. So it's not inexpensive. I mean, it's not like a luxury, you know, Gucci or Louis Vuitton or anything, but for me, this is kind of like the peak of my price point that I spend on bags. I usually buy Tory Burch's. Um, it's around the same price point and I have the quality and I like Tory Burch's, um, but I wasn't sure JG New York. So I um, messaged Marnie and I was like, okay, I'm thinking about getting that bag. What do you think? Do you love? And she's like, oh my God, I love it. She brought it with her to the Rewards Doll Conference back in April. So I got to kind of see it in person. And from then I was like, okay, I have to have this bag. So I was finally able to get one. I got the color gray and I got the grace satchel. So this is what it looks like. I love it, you guys. It is the perfect size bag. Um, it is large enough to where it fits a lot. It fits everything that I need, but it's small enough to where it's not like overly, so it's not huge on me. I'm only 5'2", so I can't really wear those big, huge bags because they just kind of look too big for me. I also like the shape of it. It's really easy to find what you need in here. So this bag, what I like about it is it has these short handles that you can carry. It's not a shoulder bag though. Like you can't just put it under your shoulder. I mean, I guess you could. 
I guess you could put it right under your shoulder, but you see it just goes right up there in your armpit. So either you're gonna carry it like this or by the handle, or you're gonna use the cross body strap um, that you can either wear across the body or on your shoulder and just have it hang low. Um, I love this bag for a lot of reasons. I wanna talk first about the size. I feel like the size is perfect. It's large enough to where it really does fit everything you need. I mean, you're not gonna fit a computer in here, but you know, I have my makeup bag, my wallet, my sunglass case, and I have room for a lot more. It also has compartments in here for pens or like these are my business cards, um, cell phone, it has a zipper pocket. There's lots of storage in here so you can keep things organized. Um, and I like the shape of it. I feel like it, you, when you look down in it, you can see everything really easily and grab everything really easily. I use this when I travel and it fit perfectly on my carry-on. Um, when I was actually like going through the airport, I had the cross body strap on and I could just look down real easily, you know, to my hip and grab what I needed in my purse. I didn't have to dig around. There was no like, I just, I think the shape and the size are just perfect. It's a perfect everyday bag. So I kind of struggled with getting gray or white, but I decided on getting gray because I feel like gray is a really great year round bag color. It's perfect for fall, but it's light enough that I can still feel like I can wear this with a lot of summer outfits that I wear. So I am loving this bag, you guys. I got it monogrammed with my initials, LMJ. It's not for Lisa J Makeup, it's for Lisa Marie Howdy, which is my name. And I keep the crossbody strap on at all times. And if I'm not using it, I just stick it in the bag. I just stick it in the bag and I wear it like that. Um, and then if I want to use it, the strap, I'll pull it out and wear it. But I love this purse, you guys. And then I usually just put my key right here in this front pocket right here. And it has this cute tassel. I love it. It just hits every check mark for me. Size, shape, color, quality. I love it. Love it. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen them a hundred times. It's these drawstring shorts by Caslon. I have them in this green color, and then I also have them in black. I got these uh, maybe in July, and I first got them in black, and then I ordered them in green, and then I feel like I need to go get them in any other color that they have because I wear them that much. It's almost to the point where it's like, okay, Lisa, do you own any other shorts? <laughs> in fact, sometimes I'll like want to get on Instagram stories. and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was wearing these yesterday. <laughs> like change it up. But they're so comfortable. They are so comfortable. They're, they're really light and it's been so hot here that, um, you know, I don't want to wear anything heavy or tight. That's another thing. They're not tight shorts. They're loose, but they're not like baggy and unflattering shorts. I don't feel like, I mean, they're not the most sexy shorts you're going to wear, of course, but I feel like drawstring shorts, they, they're the first drawstring shorts that I found that doesn't make me look like I have a big bubble bottom. <laughs> um, they have pockets in the back and then they have pockets on the side. I love them and I have the size small. I did try these in an extra small and I mean when I was standing there they looked like they fit but when I sat down they were too tight or too short so I went with the size small. Um, I think they're just under $50. I feel like they're a pretty good price point. They're just right under $50 but I've definitely gotten my wear out of them. I wear these all the time. You will either see me in these shorts or the black ones at least three times a week. It's kind of absurd. Uh, I'll post a picture of me so you can act. I'll post a picture of me. I'll post a picture of me wearing these so you can actually see how they look, but I love these shorts. Of everything that I have showed you in this video, these shorts and that purse are the things that have gotten the most love this month. So, all right, you guys, that wraps up this video. Before we go, a couple things I wanna remind you of. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Emily Edit Needs and Wants palette. I'll have the details down below. It'll be super easy to enter, don't worry. And then also, if you're in the Austin area or the surrounding area. I really hope you'll come out on September 20th to meet me in person at the Nordstrom at Barton Creek Mall. Um, we are asking for an RSVP, so I'll leave that information down below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!